Hello game makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to use social buttons on your games to allow people to link to them with one click. Uh, it can be pretty important in this day and age to have all your socials in one place and if people are playing your games and enjoying them they can connect to you on all your social platforms just by playing your game and just by clicking. So for example, if someone wants to see my YouTube channel, they click here, they get taken to YouTube and same for Discord, same for Twitter. And I don't have any games on Steam, but this is just a random game that I picked. There you go. So, let's get started. You're going to need buttons for every social link that you want people to click on. Uh, I've got one for Steam, Twitter, Discord, YouTube. I have them all centered in the middle left. Uh, where do you get these icons from? So whatever social you want, type that name. So let's do Twitter and then logo and download. And for Twitter, you'd click the official link, scroll down, uh, social icons, download it. And then inside the folder, you've got the social icons. So the one I used is this one, I think, rounded square, like here. And also, uh, it's worth reading the brand guidelines. There, there should be a brand guideline for every social button you download because companies are really uh what's the word i'm looking for uptight about the logos now used so just make sure you give this a brief read over um and that's it you know okay so make sure you have as many sprites as you need for the buttons you don't have to have the same ones i do you don't have to have uh the same amounts either because the code's going to work uh, regardless just make sure you name them accordingly so it's easy for you to identify what's what so for example sbr underscore youtube sbr underscore discord okay so make a new object call it uh whatever you want i've got mine as obj underscore main underscore menu and i have it in the top left of my room we're going to be drawing everything in the draw GUI region, so it doesn't matter if it's on a lower layer. Uh, everything else should be drawn below it, unless you have other things drawing in the draw GUI. So just bear that in mind. Uh, make a create event for the object, and inside we're going to have this code. So we want to store all of the sprites that we want to draw in an array. We're going to call the array socials um, and also uh, when I draw things like this I like to have them evenly spaced and I like to know that I can add and remove different sprites and the code will still work in the same way um, that's why we're going to be doing this uh, we could just say okay uh, the first sprite is going to be 152 the second is going to be 160 and then 52 and so on and so on but uh, you have to kind of manually check the coordinates for every sprite, sprite and if you change things around it just makes more work and more work so we're going to do uh, we're going to do some calculations which means it will work no matter how many sprites you have uh, regardless of the, the width and, and height that kind of thing uh, well if you have like 20 buttons they're not all going to fit on the bottom unless you really resize them so uh, but you know in general adding and removing new buttons will not affect the code it'll work regardless of that so uh, I made a little diagram to help me visualize it uh, some of these numbers are not the same as what we're going to be using so for example the space between in this is 30 uh, but in the actual game I've got it's 50 so uh, what we need to know is the width in pixels 
of all of the buttons and all of the spaces we're going to use we need to know the combined sprite width or width in pixels so for this uh, for this beautiful piece of artwork the combined total is 260 it's 60 plus 90 plus 50 plus 30 plus 30 equals 260 uh, and this is the little calculation that we need for most of it so bearing that in mind setting the space between is 50 total width zero this is going to hold the uh, width in pixels total socials is just so we don't have to keep typing this and it's going to equal four because we have one two three four social buttons this for loop is going to work out for us so we're going to get the width of every sprite so the first sprite is going to be spi youtube second sprite is going to be discord etc etc we're going to add the sprite of each of those sprites to total width so if the first width is 100 and the second width is 50 then this will equal 150 and also this bit here as long as, as we're not on this last social then we're going to add space between to total width as well so we're going to add the width of youtube and then space between and then the width of discord and then space between and then width of twitter and then space between and then the width of steam and that's it and that'll give us our total width okay so uh, make a draw gui event and we're going to have this region in it the uh, draw social buttons draw x so we want uh, to know or we want to be drawing basically from this very left far edge so we can draw all of these in turn draw y is going to be the same uh, it's just going to be the height of the GUI minus 100 uh, and draw x is going to be the width of the GUI minus total width so here's the edge here's the edge of our uh, GUI and we want to draw from here on the x coordinate and then this for loop is going to draw all of our four buttons for us or how, however many you have it's going to draw them all the first thing we do is we got, grab the current sprite to draw we want to know the width and the height of this current sprite uh, rather than having to type this and this every time we're just going to store the values in sbr underscore w and spr underscore h and then we draw the sprite and if this social button isn't the last one then we also want to increase draw x by by the width of the sprite plus the space between that we're using and that's going to give us our different uh, draw x coordinate so every step all of this happens the draw x gets reset all the buttons get drawn in order draw x increases for each one and the next step draw x gets reset so if you're in the game you should have something like this to show so you should have some icons they don't do anything if you click nothing happens but yeah so something like this you should see it now so if we go back to the create event we're going to add some links so that when we click on these buttons they'll take us somewhere uh whatever link you get make sure you put it inside two quotation marks like this so they should appear as strings and uh, so this is the new code so um all of these links are going to be stored in the second entry for each one so zero zero was youtube one zero with discord for the sprites zero one should be the youtube link one one should be the discord link etc so make sure the the sprites and the links match up okay uh if you're not sure how, where, how to get these links so for example uh if we go on twitter home or click on your icon sorry and then this link here if you copy that 
and paste it you'll get this and then in the draw GUI we're going to add a few things as well so uh, this is the new stuff we want to know where the mouse is on the GUI layer uh, device mouse X to GUI and device mouse Y to GUI is going to tell us where it is uh, this code here you don't need to really know understand this bit just just know that uh, this line if this is true so if this is true the mouse is over this particular button which button is it over or well, it depends what i equals so if i equals two and this is true then it's over the third button so if it's true then we're going to draw for now just a rectangle just to make sure this works so run the game if we move if we mouse over any of these uh well actually let's just let's just move the uh, draw sprite to above it so it's a bit clearer because i want to see the green drawn over it So we're going to draw the sprite and then we're going to draw green rectangles over them. So you should have something like this. If you move the mouse over one of the icons, then it should show a green rectangle. And if you can see this, something like this, then it's working as it should do. So let's just uh, delete this draw sprite thing here and let this one work again. So. What I've done now is I've commented out the draw rectangle stuff because you don't really want to have that in the game. And we're going to be using this. So if we're inside this block of code, then the mouse is over one of the buttons. Uh, if we, if the player then clicks the left mouse button, we want to go to the link for that button. So whatever button it is, 0, 1, 2 or 3, uh, we're going to grab the URL that's stored. And then we're going to use a game maker function called URL open to take us there. So uh, if we run the game again now, let's click on YouTube. It takes us to the YouTube, my YouTube channel. Uh, let's go to Twitter. And I mean, that works, you know, uh, that's literally how it works. There's, there's one less thing that we want to do really though uh, there's no indication when you move the mouse over a button there's no indication that you know you can do anything so people might still click but let, let's make them increase in size so uh, let's say if the mouse is over a button scale equals 1.1 so we're going to draw things 10% bigger uh, else, if the mouse isn't over a button, scale equals 1. And all we need to do is change our draw sprite into a draw sprite ext. And for scale, we want to put our new variable rotation 0, color c white, an alpha of 1. So run the game again and if we move the mouse over a button you can see it go bigger and let's click on discord we get taken to discord and if we go click on steam we get taken to steam that's it I uh, hope you find this useful this can be a really really good way to grow your fan base um, that's it, yeah. I think, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.